Well, I wanted to talk a little bit um, about worship. And uh, the reason why I want to talk a little bit about worship is I want to make sure that, you know, we're kind of all on the same page. There's a lot of, there's a lot of ideas out there of what is worship. So, so I asked the question, you know, what is worship? And uh, it's going to be uh, a little quick little thing I want to, want to share with. Um, there's, a, there's a scripture um, in Hebrews uh, 12, 28. It says, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. And uh, there's that word worship and there's that Greek word, which... You know, I can't read Greek or pronounce Greek, so I'm not going to try to butcher that word. But the, the, the Greek word means serve, like may serve. So worship has to do with serving. You're actually serving when you worship. You're serving God. There's, uh, there's other Greek words in the Bible for worship. And um, those words also mean to pay homage to or to render honor. So that's what worship is. So when we're worshiping God, we're giving him honor. We're giving him homage. We're serving. We're actually serving in our worship. Do you know that? So you're all servants. We're all servants here. And when we worship, we serve God. Isn't that amazing? But where does serving, where does that honor come from? Where does honor come from? And so that's where we have to look at the heart issue. So in Isaiah 29, it says, The Lord says, These people come near to me with their mouth, and they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is based merely on human rules that have been taught. So see... It has to do with the heart. So you can, you worship can be all kinds of things on the outside. It can be, uh, you can get, uh, you might not like uh, the song that we do. Uh, you might not like uh, the, the worship uh, pastor's hairstyle. Uh, you, might, uh, you might not like uh, uh, the, that hymn. Or you might not like this song, or you might like, not, like, not, might not like the way that we do this or do that. But see, all of that's on the outside. All of that is, has nothing to do with what's inside. So that's all on the outside stuff. That's the distractions. And so worship has to do with what's coming from inside. So you have, we, see, God made us spiritual beings. And he made us vessels. And he gave us a spirit tank. And we have to fill that tank up. And we will fill that tank up. We will. We'll fill it up with anything. Uh, and if we don't fill it with God, and we don't fill it with good things, we're going to fill it with other stuff. You're going to fill it with drugs. You're going to fill it with alcohol. You're going to fill it with uh, distractions, movies, uh, material things, uh, pornography. Uh, this is what happens. And so... What has to happen is we have to fill that tank up with good things. We have to fill it up with God. And when you allow that tank to be filled up, what happens is what comes out of your lips is what's happening inside here. And so you got to allow God to fill that tank up, fill your spirit tank up, and then out of your heart. That's why in Matthew, Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and your soul and with all your mind. See, you notice he put heart first? Heart. What's in here? What's going on in here? If you can get this happening, then all this other stuff doesn't matter. You know, we, we, we're, at Sunrise, we do two different kinds of services. We have a, a, a traditional classic service, and then we have this one. It's a modern service, and it's about preferences. And that's the only reason we do it. The reason we do it is because people have preferences. It's not necessarily right, but we're trying to appeal to some people's preferences. But that's all they are. They're just preferences, and that's not worship. 
So worship comes from here. See, you can, so the best times I've had in worship have been times when there was a, a guy with an out-of-tune guitar and a guy, and he can't sing in a room full of uh, people that are out of pitch. And it's been the best times because that's when God spoke to me. What worship is, is when you allow God to say, God, what do you have to say to me? I, I don't know if, I don't like this song. I don't like this pastor. I don't like this message. But what are you saying to me? What are you saying to me through it? And if you can do that, God can shape you, mold you, use you. And then what's going to flow out of that is going to be a worship and honor and of God. And uh, the last scripture I want to share is Hebrews 12.1. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. And that's what it is. You fix your eyes. You're not distracted by anything. That's why I say, don't pay attention to us up here. I really would. I, my dream job would be I actually play the music behind the curtain. I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. It's, it's by the power of God's power that I'm actually in front of you people because my, I'm much more comfortable like underneath the stage in a hole, in a cave. That would be, that'd be really comfortable there and I could play all the music down there and you guys would be awesome, happy. And, uh, but so it's, um, but so that's why I say it's, you know, don't be distracted by lights. Don't be distracted by maybe the volume. Uh, uh, there's issues that we're always trying to work out. Um, but allow God to work inside here and get back to the heart of worship.